time I decide to bring my tripod out, it's fixing to rain. I'm ready to go to Michelle's, but I couldn't let the day go. Make an unexpected run to get some some supplies for my garden. <laughs> Excuse me, and uh, brought these out earlier when I fed the chickens and the cats and all that. But I forgot I moved my table and chairs, so I had to put it right there because I've not looked at my garden yet. I haven't. Be honest, I ain't looked at myself yet. <laughs> But when I got back home, I moved some ferns down to the ground because now, see, I asked at the high school yesterday, I said, do you think it might come back? And she said, I don't know. But last night, while I was thinking about it, I decided I'm going to big them all up. Yeah. I hope the ones, these are some plants that I have, I've shown you, but I haven't shown you yet. We'll talk about those later. But they still had some pepper plants. They did. So I can still have some healthy pepper plants if I can figure out what's going on. And they had these two that actually had banana peppers on, so... I'm going to brag and say I've already grown peppers. Look here. That one does. They were at the end of their season. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I go to plant them. So, now on to the, the carnage that I don't know what happened. They really didn't know at the school either. I know there's so many things that it could be brought my coffee grounds out. I save up coffee grounds and I've been using them in my garden. I think that's still looking fairly decent. I've got some stuff to plant in it. I think uh, this time may just come back. I gotta bag that up. But yeah, something loved my pepper plants. I believe that's a basil. And I'm just wondering if the dawn and the water didn't kind of cause the roots to, uh, or they might have kept, they might have done the whole carnage. I don't know. But everywhere I read said use dawn and water. I'd say it's whatever was eating holes in them. <laughs> See what I mean? Eating holes in them at the time. I wouldn't dare plant those in a garden now because I don't know exactly what's going on. So, uh, <laughs> what? So all these are gonna be pulled up. Not affecting my tomato plants, thank goodness, so far. What? Just all the pepper plants. Look. Destruction. And I'm not going to have probably as many pepper plants this time to plant. Ew, that's all right. It'll give me a chance to try something I hadn't planned on. But it started out with holes in the leaves to this. But my tomato plants look like they're doing good. So, see if I can get this cat. <laughs> you better move, mister. You better move. I thought if I came to the table, trouble would leave me alone. Ah! But, I had to make a special purchase yesterday, yesterday when I went to town. 
I had to buy a six pack for my garden. Got company coming. Not company, but I did. I bought a six pack. Forgot that's one of the reasons I went in Walmart. I had to get some beer. Not to drink, but to put in the garden to see if maybe I've got slugs and stuff. And while I was at the Dollar Tree, I, I was going to get smaller cups, but I didn't. So I've got these. And uh, I think I brought a couple of other little cups out. So I'll bring you back when I show you what I'm doing. You need to get out. Don't look at me. I've not had my shower yet, but I... I had to show you what I battle, but I I forget who told me in the comments if I get some pine cones and put them out here in my garden that that'll keep the cats out. So I'm gonna go gather some pine cones before they do cause any damage. But trouble, they told me I shouldn't have named them that, but I did. But I'm just burying these cups. Hang on just a second. I'm just burying these cups down in the dirt in a couple of the beds to see if I collect slugs. If my cups had been a little smaller, they might get a little less drunk. But I'm going to go with this. So I'll be right back. cats actually drink it? He's checking it out. I hope not. Got it in that cup. I'm going to put some in this cup. Maybe he's just checking out the fizz. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna have to go get some pine cones and bring them out. I did have some holiday ones. I wouldn't even have to search for them and make the garden smell good. Make us see if I can find those. Okay, let me know. I know that my leaves had already had the, all the holes. They've been ate on, ate down. So I used the Dawn in case I had some insects. Did good for a day. Next day, leaves gone. Down on the ground, turned brown. Did the Dawn cause it? Or did something else cause it? And I, I know I've still got some kind of critters, so I don't know what to do with the peppers I have. But I've got to go clean up. We got a, uh, I think a cookout at our daughter's. So I need to go get ready for that. I may show my face later. The begonias are doing good. They are. Actually, this pot right here used to be, or last year, I only planted some bulbs in it and I don't know if it's because the cats or what, they never really took off. And so I just replanted it this year with uh, the begonias. And these go to Omi's for Mother's Day. So you, you may see that before you see this. I thought she would enjoy them on her front porch. They love sun. And I still have, I, I made two hanging baskets for me. I bought two more hanging baskets, so I may plant me some more hanging, but I think with uh, recovering from her hip and stuff, she'd much rather have something she could just sit out on the front porch. It's easier to get to. Well, I just thought I was gonna uh, I'd go clean up, but I thought I'd come out here and see how my garlic's doing. Might as well do it this way and that way. My brain forgets stuff. I can at least go back on video and look. That's my garlic. And these lights, I stuck them here for now just so I could see them. I have another one ready to come out. I should, I think we got five going or four going. I can't remember. Uh, one of them was hopeless, Kenny said. He said, toss it. I thought about taking it back to the Dollar Tree just to see what they do, because I've never done that before, but I don't know. It's not their fault. Uh, they seem like they're growing. And at least my merry goes are still going. 
Something's kind of eating on this. I actually bought another product. I may go have, oh, look, here, here. Wonder what that hole is here. I see a hole on the other side. Is that something I did? Or something something else did? Doesn't seem to be affecting these leaves. Well, it does on those. Ugh. Oh no. I may have to go get the other product I bought and come out here real quick. Got something from Amazon. I actually bought something at Walmart too. I'll show you later, but the one from Amazon came, so it's ready to go. Parsley. Looks like it's doing good. So far, the strawberries look like they're doing good. I don't think anything's getting them. We'll find out. But until I get this, I, I kind of hate planting anything else. I don't want even the wild flower here. It's got a few little holes in it, so I don't know. Don't have a clue. But I'm going to go get the other product. On the way into the house, I thought I'd just come and kind of check out and see how things were progressing in here. Don't know if any wildflowers are germinating or not yet. It's still too soon. But I think these, some of these uh, ground covers, this one I actually got out of the yard or planter, and these out of the woods. I think some of it, as green as it is, I think it's gonna root and take off. I hope so. I haven't done anything with this and may not right now because it's producing blackberries. And I'm afraid that what few we get uh, we'll lose. Look at that. And I'm gonna have to still get pine cones too. But I better go in or I'll forget what I'm I had ordered after. some Captain Jack's neem oil, neem oil ready to use from Amazon. And it wasn't supposed to get here till the middle of the month. So when I was at Walmart, I purchased a product, which I'll show you later. But it says it, three garden products in one. It controls black spots, powdery mildew, rust, spider mites, aphids, white flies, and insects. Past, use on roses, flowers, house plants, ornamental trees and shrubs, fruit, nuts, and vegetables. Can be used up to a day of harvest, and it's for organic farming. So we're gonna take this back here. And like I said, I'm not gonna get much else done today because we've got a dinner date. I don't know that they get moved just <laughs> anyway. I'ma spray that neem oil on all these plants, and I've decided to go ahead and do it on these two. Also, just in case something happens to hit the other strawberries, I know he'll have at least one bush going, and it's uh, organic. I guess you can say this morning is going to wind up being more of a uh, prevention day, but it said to spray everything till it's dripping, I think's how it said it, so that's pretty much what I did, and I was worried because this one looks like it's doing real good, and I thought, well, it's dying in places. But these were actually separate ones. So I may not have got enough of the root. So I may wind up pulling those and just leaving that one in. We'll see. I'm going to take a picture of at least one of these. I think this one. And that way I can kind of keep track and see if I see any major damage. I think that's the one I'm going to see damage on first. Well, you're a little late to the show, gal. So that's it, all I'm going to get done for now. I know if I come back, I'll bring you back. But we'll see what happens. Well, 
couldn't go in the house to get a shower till I came back out and decided to use the neem oil and all the plants, the cucumbers and stuff that I have here that I'll be showing you and all the new pepper plants. So I wet them down till they started dripping and at least I'm gonna give them a fighting chance. And I'm using Captain Jack's neem oil. This one I got off Amazon. The one time I decided to bring my tripod out, it's fixing to rain. I'm ready to go to Michelle's, but I couldn't let the day go without having another beer. And you'll see why. And I gotta try to keep from getting dirty. This was bugging me in here. I did not want to leave it overnight without giving it a fighting chance. Because, you know, we seen some holes, and I took some video. I, what I need is a camera out here just to see what's getting on them. Because I'm not really seeing it when I see a little critter there. I do. But I sprayed that neem oil on it earlier. But I'm going to give them a chance and give them a drink. So hopefully, if it's the slugs or something, hope my cats don't get drunk. <laughs> Have you ever had your cats get drunk? I don't drink beer. I know they were sniffing on it earlier, but I'm a, I've got another cup. I'm gonna take it up front and I'll uh, show you what I'm doing with it. I brought the tripod out just so you could see that. <laughs> I better get back in. Since I already had my tripod handy, I just carried you over here. I got thinking once I came over here though, the peppers that were on the ground, not, you know, planted yet. I had the same issue with them. Would that have been slugs? I don't know. But I'm gonna take this plant out of here. And just in case, I'm gonna set some drink out here. I'll just put it in this tray. So I've got this in here, the beer in case it's slugs or stuff that'll crawl in there and drown because they're attracted to beer, I hear. Amy <laughs> says she didn't know that. But anyway, and I'd already doused all this really good with neem oil. And that's all the gardening Angie's doing today. I've got to get in there, get my pocketbook. We're leaving to go. To the show.